So a New Jersey police detective who was facing murder charges is speaking out tonight after being not found guilty. He was accused of killing a man in what prosecutors said was a case of road rage, but the jury wasn't buying it. As Tiwa Chang reports, the detective says he was just trying to protect his family. How does it feel to be able to walk in the sunshine? Better than it ever did, you know, relief, you know. I could be walking on a beach in Aruba or walking through the city dump right now. It will still feel the same. <laughs> Hudson County Detective Joseph Walker, charged with first-degree murder last year, on Tuesday was acquitted of all counts by a jury. He spent the last year defending himself while facing the possibility of life in prison. At certain points, I felt it was more persecution than prosecution. June 8th last year, Detective Walker, his wife, and three small children left a family get-together in rural Maryland. Police said Joseph Harvey Jr. and another man felt Detective Walker's minivan had cut them off. The two men shouted racial slurs at Detective Walker, who drove away. The six-foot, 290-pound Harvey and his friend got out of their car and walked half a football field to attack Walker, who had his badge and gun out. Just kept coming, kept coming, and then, and then just charged. Detective Walker shot three times. During the trial, it was revealed victim Harvey was drunk and armed with a quick-release knife. The trial judge reprimanded the prosecution for dismissing seven of ten black jurors. Eventually, a jury of ten whites and two blacks found Detective Walker shot in self-defense. But his troubles are not over. His legal bills amount to $150,000. His union is doing fundraising. It was the right verdict. Uh, I think that's going to reinforce and help our efforts in showing what an injustice this was. The National Police Defense Foundation is accepting donations for Detective Walker. Also, its director wants a civil rights investigation. The prosecutor in this case clearly, clearly demonstrated this was a selective prosecution. We surmise it was for political reasons. Detective Walker also now faces a civil lawsuit from the victim's family, which means years more and tens of thousands of dollars in legal bills. Still, I walked out this morning and I have a little rose bush. I actually walked over and smelled one. <laughs> I don't know, I just did. T.Y. Chang, Fox 5 News.